Baltimore Burners that are pulled in and they're waiting. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's the right. Tom and McQueen are just standing around, gesticulating. The Pokeball just pulled in front of them. Patrick, they're just standing there. That's the lead car. I'm not sure. Oh, what's the Pokeball is blocking them in too. There's no team. And the train is blocking them. Blocking them. And Fubar Labs is already back out. That's the lead car, Patrick. I'm not oh, sure what's no. happening. Oh no, they hit their own pit wall. They hit their own tent. As they try to get back out of the track, Baltimore Burners is back underway, but not in first place. Oh my god. That is hugely dramatic. They just lost the lead in the pits. They did. Totally just lost. Wait, we got a traffic jam at the end of pit lane. Oh, what's happening now? That's going to be a huge penalty for Milwaukee Makerspace. What's going down out there? Get out. Get back on the track, guys. Fubar now leading the race. That's right. Fubar leads the race. The better pit strategy. They didn't get caught up in that mess. Oh, no. There might be penalties. Calamity in pit lane has caused Lightning McQueen the lead. And catastrophe. They're still in the pits. What? Ridiculous. Catastrophe finally getting back out. Catastrophe now two laps down. Same thing with Lightning McQueen. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Fubar Labs, that green machine, now you're the leader. That Pokeball, their own teammate, the Pokeball, threw them over. Blocked them in. Oh. They'll find out. And one of the marshals telling me there's a chain on the track. Oh, someone lost the chain somewhere. Not much I can do from here about it. <laughs> I'm sure the team will find out. Someone's though. running on half power, I guess. Yes, yes, they oh, are. Oh, the Waffle Car is having to cool off their motor. I can see it. Had a few Waffle Car is pouring water on their motor. A few more questions coming in from Twitch. They're saying if this is a charity event. Uh, the only charity is for these crazy people racing these cars. They do it because it's fun. That's why people like to do things sometimes. You don't always have to do things for a reason. It's called life, and living it, and enjoying it. I'd say one of the worst accidents we've seen is watching uh, Kartashi and Phantom last year T-bone each other. For the win, by the way. Those first and second place, they wrecked in the last corner, and it resulted in a ton of cheating flipping, which was hilarious, and uh, everyone had a good time about it. Some of the motors that are commonly used are, well, common is a bad term for it. We have all sorts of motors, like hobby thing motors, aqua star motors that are used that are rushless, rush motors, stuff as small as an electric motor on a motorcycle that you'd see 40 lake volt, and stuff as big as floor cleaning motors. The Fubar Labs motor is massive. It weighs about a quarter of the weight of the car. Oh, another car. Another caution. Oh, it looks like, yep, one of the, uh, one of the cars getting pulled off. That is track. Rev 1. Rev 1. Rev 1 off. Trying to get a breather here in between this race, the intensity and the heat out here. Really pushing all the drivers and cars. Right now, uh, who are Labs is your leader. I'm going to go down the field while we have a little bit of a time. Right now, your leader is Fubar Labs. Second place is Baltimore Burners, Lightning McQueen. Third place is Kartashi. The Rambulance, which I haven't actually said much from the Aristocrats team. Drove out here, out from Pittsburgh, in fourth place. Lilo and Stitch in fifth, that is the team all the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana. That is a uh, all high school, well, high school and collegiate team. Uh, two sisters built that, built that car and raced it. Their father is here, and he's racing his own car. Flavor Ice is the name of that one. That is the light blue Flavor Ice truck that's out there. Actually, I haven't seen that car where its classification is currently. Oh, Flame Ice is still in the pits. I haven't seen it come out. Um, waffle Cart is currently in ninth place. That's a tiny waffle. 
where Macho Man Randy Savage is an eighth ahead of it. Those cars are teammates. Oh, and a little bit of wild action there in the front. Come all hands at him. And he's pulling it off the track really quickly. That car really got away with them quick. But they got it off before caution even be yep. He got it off the track. Good for him. That was a very decisive bet. All hands active right there for Van Arnold. That's a very senior team. They enjoy coming here to break the rules. That's part of what they like doing. And uh, yeah, this year they're trying to build a car that actually conforms to the rules. And uh, they're running into a few good ones doing that. But they have put a wonderful team together. And they're having a pretty good time at it too. Even if their car breaks, which it does. Kubar, only one lap ahead of Cartastrophe. And Cartastrophe was once two laps down. Cartastrophe might be catching up to Fubar here. Same thing with Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen was once two laps down. That was only and one lap down. the field in the front is definitely busy. Rambulance making its way through the traffic. The Pokeball and the Mario Kart. Fubar is that green pickup truck. And look at Cartastrophe at the bottom of the screen making its way through, just squeezing past Patrick. That might put Cartastrophe on the same lap now as Fubar. That's right, Cartastrophe, only one lap down. That's right, Cartastrophe is right. in it to win it. That is Fubar's nearest threat right now. Now the field has settled down. We're finally seeing a non-rush pace. The lap times are coming down. The teams are realizing that this isn't a sprint anymore. This is a 75 minute race. Cartastrophe is that orange Jeep looking thing. Lightning McQueen is the tiny little red ro uh, ro uh, race car, like NASCAR race car thing. You know, from the Pixar movie. We got some uh, more Twitch shout outs for cheesy and tight balls. Always good to have usernames that are hilarious to say. And if the, ch the Twitch stream wants to uh, donate to charity, they can donate to Child's Play Charity. It's a nice charity. They donate uh, toys, kits, and games to kids in hospitals all around the country. Oh no! Looks like we got a. Yeah! Back of the field, it looks like Atomic Chibi! See, I3 Chibi! No, Atomic Chibi in the back, Patrick. Oh, we got Atomic Chibi in the back of the problem? Yes, it stalled out in the back turn. No, if we're going to talk about charities, I'd say uh, donate your money into 6 Valencia. That's one of my favorites, I'd have to say. We're going into baseball commentary territory. We're just talking about random stuff that's not related to the sport with any type of deal. Oh, and rep one is now slowing yet again. Oh no. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. It's definitely one of the two cop cars that are out there. Very confusing. Macho Man Randy Savage in that monster truck. I believe the stair car is back out and underway. Oh, the blue stair car. Poor blue stair car is way down in 19th place. 19th place, it's gonna get that Moxie. They're pushing all hands active off the Hazard car off again. Hazard is not what it is, it's what it's named. But it is becoming a Hazard, so it's kind of living up to it. I can just imagine the amount of Moxie boats right now that the Bluefield has. Meeting this weekend with Moxie boats. Obviously scoring very high with the adults in the audience. I imagine the youngsters were not born when that show aired. Oh, and Atomic Chibi getting the car with the Mario Kart. That's a caution right there. Huh? Gets the Waffle Kart up in a mix either. If Mario Kart can't move, it's got to get off the track. Now Hippie Rose is stuck on the track. Move him off the track. There's no parking in the Power Racing Series. Huh? While the rest of this calamity settles down a tiny bit more. Let's try to see what the mid pack looks like. In ninth place, we got the Starfleet, the red shirt scene. That is the light green car, the one that popped up two wheels out there. We also have We 
Don't set the Pokeball in 10th place. Mario Kart in 11th. Global Kart in 12th. Global Kart lost three spots from that last pit round. And also because it's been having trouble through the field. Patrick, uh, while you continue on there, I'm going to see if I can find a break to get into the pits. i got to find out what happened with Baltimore Burners. Actually, I might not be able to because Boat Dragon 2016, their second car, is pulled off. Their pit crew is so busy, I can't even get out to them. And now Rep 1 again in the same spot as before. Attrition only in the second stint. But despite that, all Fubar and Cartastri are still in the same lap. We try Milwaukee Makerspace, this Linux Tux car under low power. Meanwhile, Rev 1 getting pushed back out on the track. It is intense going through turns 1 and 2 right now. The amount of cars that are just everywhere. There is a lot of them desperately trying to make their way through. A lot of screaming from the pit crews trying to cheer their teams on. I think Waffle Car is now making up ground after positions lost. It is now, yes, it moved up one position up to 11th now but fell back four more places. You got a long way to go, Blue, but keep it going out there. She built that cart. It is a waffle. It's a mini. It's a mini waffle. The ambulance that you saw driving by on the front of the pack is in fourth place. Oh, we have someone from Baltimore Burners here. What happened in the pits that gave up the lead? So you had a driver switch that was still in another car. Well, that's all it took. Well, hopefully she'll be able to claw back. You have time though, there's plenty of time. And the Baltimore Burgers car is definitely fast enough. And it is keeping within pace. It is a lap down compared to the rest of the field. So the strategy is as follows. Fubar Labs, if you watched Maker Fair on Twitch, or if you're in San Mateo, through our lab strategies, they have a leaf cell battery from the Nissan Leaf. They bought it salvage, they repurpose it into packs, and uh, their car does not need a battery change. Oh, driver change, mandatory driver change. Here we go, yet again. If I can get the camera crew to pay attention to the green machine pulling in, that is where the action will be. For those of you in the audience and those of you on Twitch, get ready for this pit stop. It was a big one the first time around. 
Baltimore Burners lost their lead this way. Look at Fubar Labs. It is further in. That is not ideal for Fubar. Usually no. Fubar prefers to get in earlier ahead of the crowd. There was a traffic jam before. Will it be able to make it through without any caution or any issues? I don't know. The field's coming in clean. Cartastrophe, which is driving down where I'm pointing right now, that is your next competitor. Fubar Labs is having trouble getting in. But remember, all they gotta do is change the driver. Cartastrophe's in. Cartastrophe has to make a battery change. Look at the battery change over in Cartastrophe. We already have two cars out of the way. Fubar Lab pulling out. Push that car. That's your leader right now. And it's racing to get out. Cartastrophe's not out yet. Cartastrophe has to get out of it to take the lead. He has to get in the gear. Will he beat him out of pit? There he goes. There he goes. He has. He's beat the mouse. Holy smokes, Cartastrophe now in the lead. That was it, Patrick. That pit strategy was what it took. Unbelievable. Cartastrophe overtook in the pit. Lightning pits. McQueen trying to do a fast draw. Battery change. It's not happening. Lightning McQueen now two laps down, going on three. Patrick, this is unbelievable. Cartastrophe was able to change the battery faster than Fubar was able to change the driver. I've never seen that before. Oh, never. Smokes. That is incredible. The strategy that Fubar has to one at the last two endurance races, not working, not effective. Cartastrophe had such a fast battery change that it made all the difference. I can't believe that. That's that's incredible. That is incredible racing. All for under five hundred dollars. NASCAR can't do that. NASCAR doesn't even let you in a pitch for five hundred dollars. Oh, and it looks like Macho Man has got the smoke on. And a reckless driving penalty for the for third place Baltimore Burners. Yeah, for uh, driving and backwards. Patrick, I think they're being told to act like a drone. Oh, they fell over. The drone fell over. Macho Man sending smoke everywhere, snapping into another lap position. Oh yeah, Macho Man just putting smoke everywhere on this track. <laughs> it's a lot of smoke from Macho Man Randy Savage coming back from the dead to race. Anything can happen to power racing today. Right? So much smoke. It's hard to tell the smoke, the fake smoke from the real smoke. Oh my smoke. god. It's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I can barely see the track at this point. Oh, oh I was getting oh, oh. by the train. It's a train wreck. Making a train wreck. Yeah. Can he get back going? Is that what, is that, can he go Oh out? no, yeah, Jen's back underway. Jen? She's got it, she's going. She's back underway. Jen is finally all aboard on that train. That is a tricky car to drive. But if there's anyone that can do it, Jen can. Yeah, she's, that, the riding height on that train wreck is really high. Yes, and it's called train wrecks. Yes. Because how else will a train re react without a train trip? More Lightning McQueen now four laps down. The race leader not looking so great. How's that banana car doing? Lilo and Stitch, a Moxie car, looking really good also for just only four laps down. It's a tight race. For oh, and are you greasy? Just crashed that camera too. It's back underway. But it's a really close race, third, fourth, and fifth, all within about a lap of each other. It is hard to actually keep track of everything, Patrick. We have so many cars. And they're still in it. There's a lot of cars still in it. We have a Grand Marshal going around. Baltimore Burners now still a few laps down from all those mistakes. The banana car, many laps down, but remember, it is definitely competing for boxing votes, not just for race points. And because of that, it's second in the weekend. Giant part of track from Boat Dragon 2016 all over the track. Marshall's trying to look for a spot open to grab it. We do not throw cautions for debris because we're not NASCAR. Oh, 